Jamie Collectors. Welcome back to another Redstone um Redstone video. Today we are obviously in the Redstone testing world and we are going to continue last episode's um Minecraft PE shopping system. Now as you might have noticed, a few things have changed. Like a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna walk you through what has happened since the last since the last episode and we're gonna work from there so so i have made um the redstone prettier this thing is totally useless so let's just redstone. yep so as i as at um last episode we've got this um starting system here where we will be putting our items here and um, the items would go through, as you can see, a little of extra quartz went there. And we've got a very, very um, slow repeater. And all the items here would drop down into a shulker box here, which I would place. And the moment um, the redstone signal from the comparator hits two, this, wait, um, yeah. This repeater here would get the signal and get through to here. And so these sticky pistons would um, push their redstone blocks here, powering these redstone repeaters. And so... Wait, wait, I can't really... Yeah, and so powering these, um, these sticky pistons, as you can see here. If I could just have a better source of... Um, Hmm. Let's just do this. Yeah, as you can see, the piston extends. And the moment I put this thing back, the piston retracts. But the problem now is that if I put the sugar box here, it would drop to the border between these two hoppers. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff. It's not necessarily um, needed in all of the modules. Well, actually it is. But first, just let me um, think about this. So obviously we would need a block here to prevent the shulker box from going elsewhere. And from that our hopper would be here. So our first module would be complete. But then where would our other module be going? Like the ones like this one, this this second one here. Where would that lead? So that's our problem there. So we have to have a solid block here and there, which kind of only allows us three of these modules. So yeah, that's a problem. Now, let me just think this through. Hmm, I mean, we could push the thing backwards, I guess. I mean, it would change the module a bit. We can try that. We can push everything here one block backwards. I mean, yeah, one block backwards. Wait, let's don't, let's not deal with the redstone behind there. So, let's... So we'll have to move our um, detecting system to... Actually, no. No, come to think of it. I think we'll be able to get rid of, get out of this. If I were to put this hopper here, and if I were to be putting redstone dust here, yes, yes, perfect. It takes the reading, which is perfect, guys. So now let me just finish this module here oh wait actually i should do this one first so we put our hopper there all facing to wherever we would be putting the stuff let's break this block here um yeah so our system current currently looks something like this so um we would want to block here and another block here, I said here, there we go, 
So. <clears throat> okay. So. Now, in theory, if I were to put a shulker box here. Um, like, over here, let's say. And if I were to put, like, five pieces of resin in the stair, the second one, yep, it's on. Perfect. So now if we break that box, oh, wait, no, never mind. Let's get our redstone out. Oh, can't put shulker boxes in shulker boxes. And then let's get rid of that one, and also get rid of that one. So... Our sticky piston would be facing this way, and our hoppers, just grab our hoppers, would be facing this direction, like all the other ones, but one block back. So I'm gonna put it like this. So now, if I could just wait, let me pop up here. So there's completely nowhere for for the things to go hmm come to think of it it might go somewhere else i think it might go to the hoppers and sides though but that's highly unlikely but yeah who knows let's destroy this block here put this block back so that should be it, but first we must bust out because we have nowhere to go. Wait. Okay, so we need a sticky piston like this and another hopper facing into it. Now if I were to find a way out, there we go. Now if we get up here, we do the same thing on this side. like. So, just to sneak, and then we would have block there, hopper there, hop, hopper there. Perfect. So now. That should be... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> That's not it. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, the... Wait, so where exactly is our pistons? Now, let's break these blocks quickly. And locate where our pistons are. So this is the second module, and our piston is somewhere up here. Ooh, wait. Oh, huh? Wait, I'm very confused. Oh, so that's our piston there. Oh, so we could just copy and paste the whole thing, actually. Perfect. So we can have exactly the same thing here. Except, oh, wait. Oh, we don't even need these blocks. So this time we would just place our sticky piston there. Hmm, but that would lock our hopper. But that's a minor problem. We can deal with that. Oh. Hmm. Should have thought of that. Okay. So we can do that. Maybe, um,. Okay, let's let's push the whole thing back a bit by a single block like this. Where we would have a another sticky piston maybe. If I could just place it like this. Hmm, this is really confusing, guys. Um, 
so it would get up a block which would power this redstone line Ooh, I think that's it wow I made it so complicated so we get this down one more block redstone earth redstone torch block that 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 okay now we just need our hoppers to lead to a chest no lead into a dropper where we would be dispensing it after they have given us a diamond or something so now if i could just stand here There we go. Well, actually, I'll destroy this whole row. Because we all need it to go somewhere else. And these rows are completely useless, which is good. There we go. So now... Oh! Ah. We'll have to break all of this again because I forgot that the blocks underneath are completely use useful. So we'll have to lead all the hoppers. Like this. And this is our last and everything would flow towards this direction where we could put it into our dropper facing towards this direction it's block in front so people can't steal it and let's just Okay, so the dropper is there, and actually no, we can, um, actually let's put this there, and we need a, hmm, we need another dropper, we need a, um, cool, um, diamond collector here over in the wall where we would have a dropper button and then a hopper where it would be running towards somewhere around here yeah let's say there let's stand in here and then let's give us some more standing ground. There we go. So. All the extra items that are not the diamonds we want. We go into this chest here. And now we just need the sorting system. So that would be easy. Um. We could lead it to here. Let's grab ourselves a chest. And I just realized I got rid of my pistons, which I really want back. Okay, and now we need um, comparator output. Wait, if I were to put items in here, does that? Nope, nope, nope. Wait, where did it go? Out oh, there. So if I were to put... Yeah, okay, so it would take the output from there. So we take it across two blocks, and then torch there, 
and now it should be locked. No, no, it's not. It's not. Dang it. Now, what did I do wrong? How do you lock a hopper again? I hate locking hoppers. So complicated. Well, for me anyway, not for all people. I'll just do this like this. Where I have a repeater facing into the block. It's easy for me. Anyway, now, this hopper should be locked. Yes, it is. And now if we place a stack of blocks, it should flow until it hits 46. Or not. I broke it. Oh no, 40. No. Oh. Damn it. I'm very confused. Oh, it's 22 items. Sorry, sorry guys. Hmm. I forgot there. So we'll split. Oh wait, no, we're not even taking pistons as a price. Let's grab our pistons back. And we'll bring a... Yeah, let's, let's take a block of diamond, shall we? Yeah, let's just leave it there to filter through. And we also need this. this signal to extend with a repeater and then we'll just bring the thing towards the dropper we have over here okay we have shop software update okay that's interesting it should be filtered right now it is we can get rid of these blocks of diamonds for now and we can split the diamond blocks over so it's the only possible um price so yeah in theory this should be finished now how long have i been recording 17 minutes that's not long okay so let's test this thing out what's our first item quartz so i'll grab a full stack of quartz i'll stuff it in there i'll see how many manages to filter through the item the system now everything should be stopping at this hopper yes it is because i am stupid and i forgot to put down the um shulker box so let's grab that right now and place it there so we can see as the items are flowing into the system um, I don't think that's enough. So the items are still slowly falling, falling through the thing. Okay, so it's slowly but surely the items are coming through. So we'll just grab another stack of quartz stuff it there and maybe two more stacks i mean i don't know how much a shulker box can hold before they um before they hit that number oh i should replace that block and we'll just wait hmm i should also put a light to show when there's an item in the dropper yeah, that's probably smart. There's currently no item, obviously. So we'll take that output. Did I just see that? No, no, I did not. So let's grab ourselves a redstone lamp. Yep, everything's correct. Let's put it there. So when that lamp is on, it means our item is there and we can pay for it. And that shulker box is still not broken. Let's grab like a few more stacks. Like a lot. Because why not? It's all for science. And yeah. So let's go here and dump 
all of this stuff down. Yep. It's slowly filling up that shulker box. Wow, it's... Wow, that's really slow. Hmm. Oh, s most of the items are piling up over there, which is understandable. Because... I'm not very good at water springs. But yeah, we can see it's slowly, slowly, slowly filling up. I just wonder how many, how many... Oh, it broke! Now it should, in theory, fall into this dropper. No, it did not. Okay, where did it go? It went here. How is it not going to that? Hmm. There's, it's probably locked somehow. Yeah. Okay, I locked the hopper. Well done, me. Okay, so. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Sorry, let's quickly put back our comparator. Now, we need to figure out a way to prevent this hopper, 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 hopper from, um, from, yeah, from stopping. So, we've got these torches. So, um... Oh, I broke that again. Ah, oh, dang it. We'll do that later. Now, let's see. How can I do this? Um... Redstone blocks is the only way, I think. So, it would push against- Oh, That's a perfect idea. Stuff like that. So when that powers, everything powers. Perfect. Now. Everything should be... No, no it's not. Dang it. Where did the shulker box go? It's down there. Now, why is it locked? That makes no sense. It's right in Hoppers locking. Okay, so we'll have to move this one block down. Because, yeah, it's being blocked. So, yeah, that's great. But it's an easy fix. Now, if I could just get this proper to face this way. And then another comparator output. So now we just need this to go right there. Ah, dang it. Okay, so there's a redstone torch here, so we can break that block. So shulker box is still there. Now how am I going to get this through? That's going to be very, very difficult, considering how this is currently going. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, this version line is also powering. Wait, why is this thing powering, like, at all? That red zone board. Okay. 
what? That makes no sense. Oh, because it's... Okay, there we go. Much better. Kind of. Yes, okay, so... Let's try that again. There's a repeater instead. Now we just need the... Stupid... Oh, dang it. Oh, Why is everything still on, though? That makes no sense. I thought I... Did I not break that redstone torch? Did. And why is everything still on? Ah. Oh, so I made it. It's on by default. Oopsie. Okay, so, um, these pistons are supposed to be extended already, I think. Dang it, this is so confusing. Ow, help. So yeah, let's just do that, and then we just have... A bunch of repeaters facing into them now if I just break all the and do this one by one everything in theory should be fixed huge highlighted should it's not okay Oh, I forgot the redstone blocks. Okay, never mind. Everything's fine. Wait. Wait, if that goes on, it would just break everything. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Um, this is getting confusing. I'll be okay, right guys. I think I have done it. So the light is on. Um, so there's an item in here, which is a shulker box, of course. So now, if we input a single diamond block, and we press the button. Wait, let me get rid of the diamonds. It's in the way. Moment of truth. It works. There we go. MCPE shopping system, and it works. Even though <laughs> it took quite a long time to make this thing. But I'm proud of it. I'll take a lovely picture of it and use it as my thumbnail. It looks quite good, isn't it? So now, let's see. 123 items. I have no idea whether it's random or not. But hey, we did it. So yeah. We have done it. So maybe next time we have a redstone video, we'll have to do something easier. Unlike these huge projects, which take me hours to figure out. Not, not necessarily hours, but still, it takes a long time. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. This has been Jamie, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.